ethereal terror, the haunting from hell. It was a dark and stormy night, the wind howling outside and the rain pouring down in sheets. The small town of Raven's Creek was blanketed in a thick fog, making it almost impossible to see anything beyond a few feet. Inside the old Victorian mansion on the outskirts of town, a group of teenagers had gathered for a night of fun and thrills. The house had always been rumored to be haunted, and the teens were eager to explore its secrets. They had heard stories of strange noises, shadowy figures, and even disappearances of those brave enough to enter. But they thought it was all just a ploy to scare them. Little did they know that the horrors of the house were very real. As they made their way through the creaky hallways and dusty rooms, they couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. The air was thick with a musty odor, and the walls were covered in eerie paintings and tapestries. But the group pressed on, determined to prove that there was nothing to fear. They took turns telling scary stories, trying to outdo each other with tales of ghosts and ghouls. But their laughter turned to terror when they heard a blood-curdling scream coming from somewhere in the house. Suddenly, they were no longer playing a game. They were in the midst of a real-life horror. Without hesitation, they ran towards the source of the scream, their hearts beating wildly in their chests. They found themselves in a room that was unlike any other in the house. The walls were adorned with strange symbols, and the floor was covered in a dark liquid that seemed to be seeping from the walls. As they looked around in horror, they heard a low growling coming from the corner of the room. They slowly turned to see a figure, hunched over and covered in a thick, black cloak. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and it let out a guttural snarl that sent chills down their spines. Without warning, the figure lunged at them, its long, sharp claws reaching out towards them. The group scattered in all directions, screaming and trying to find a way out of the house. But the doors and windows were all locked from the outside, trapping them inside with the creature. As they frantically searched for a way to escape, the figure continued to taunt them, its voice echoing through the halls. It told them that they were now under its control and that they would never leave the house alive. The teens were petrified, not knowing what to do or how to defeat this supernatural being. But then, one of the teens remembered a story she had heard about the house. It was said that the only way to defeat the creature was to solve an ancient riddle inscribed on the walls. With trembling hands, they deciphered the riddle and recited it aloud. As soon as the last word left their lips, the figure let out an ear-piercing shriek. Its form began to disintegrate, and with one final howl, it disappeared into thin air. The teens were left alone, trembling and relieved that they had survived the night. But their relief was short-lived when they realized that they were still trapped inside the house. As they searched for a way out, they stumbled upon a secret room hidden behind one of the paintings. Inside, they found a journal that belonged to the previous owner of the house. As they flipped through its pages, they came across a shocking revelation. The owner had been a member of a cult that worshipped a dark entity, and in order to appease it, they had sacrificed innocent lives. The creature that had attacked them was the manifestation of that entity, and it had been trapped in the house for centuries. The teens were horrified, but also grateful that they had solved the riddle and put an end to the creature's reign of terror. They quickly escaped the house and ran to the authorities, revealing the truth about the old Victorian mansion. The house was soon demolished, and the town of Raven's Creek was finally free from the horrors that had plagued it for so long. But the teens couldn't shake off the feeling that they had narrowly escaped death. They had learned that sometimes, the most terrifying things are not just stories, but a harsh reality waiting to be uncovered. And from that day on, they swore to never underestimate the power of a twisted mind and a dark secret. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives, that send shivers down your spine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. 
subscribe now and let the nightmares continue. <laughs>